welcome back to Wallace Garden and today we're here with Courtney Payne of Propto. Hi Courtney. Hi, hey <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing something, we have a special project, we're going to be making some propagation holders. What's a propagation holder? I just found out last week, I don't even know if that's the current name, but it's a way of propagating. I can hang my plants on my walls, something that looks good, that's easy to monitor, can put it anywhere. You know I'm into plants. Courtney is the prop girl, so she's going to be showing us what to do. Courtney, what do we need to do something like this? Okay, so we'll be using 2 before lumber <laughs> um, that we got from the hardware store. Um, we'll be using a drill with a force nugget to drill the holes um, large enough for the test tubes. And um, potentially a jigsaw or we'll carry it to the local hardware store to get an angle cut just to make it easier for us. Um, and a compound miter saw to cut them down to the length that we want. Okay. And then we'll just sand it, stain it and yeah. So we're going to get started right away. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to build a propagation frame. <laughs> okay, so we just made some tests in a scrap piece of wood so we know how far to put it from the edge, what works and what doesn't work. So, yeah, we're just testing. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at that. Mm -hmm. So, some success. Yes, yeah, right. Tube fits, there's some splitting, so we just won't do it too close to the edge. And Courtney, tell us a little bit about PropTop. Alright, so PropTop started about a year and a half ago, like officially. Um, after a bunch of friends would ask me to make stuff for like events that they were putting on and stuff, and I realized it was something I enjoyed doing and something I could make money off of, so I was like, mm, why not? <laughs> and then PropTop was born. <laughs> a very sophisticated tool that all the professionals use. Right. Just a little Posca marker with them. Some sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> Those look sand credits. So we're trying to give it a fine enough finish right now. Um, we've drilled most of our holes. We, the drill right. died so we're gonna charge it. Okay. But now we're just using the time to sand the edges of the holders. So we've completed cutting all of the holes. What's next? So now we're carrying it to the hardware store so they can cut the angle. So where's my piece? Oh. So we can cut this angle at the top here. They'll just use a table saw and just run it across, which would be much easier than trying to use a jigsaw. Okay, so let's go. Right. I got the angle on it. So what's the next step now? So now we're going to go and we're going to cut them um, to the lengths that we want it. So it's going to be three slots per holder. So we're going to go and cut that down now with a compound miter saw. Now we're going to sand and stain and hopefully it works and looks good. Bringing up the big boy now. <laughs> here they're drying um, and I'm gonna put them up later but Courtney has to go so we'll get updated in a little while cheers job well done all right everyone so we have our holders ready um, and the test tubes go right in there but now we need to mount them on the wall so I'm going to just drill some holes in here which you're gonna push the screws through to mount on the wall Thank you. 